Hey everyone, I'm Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, if you are new on this channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It means a lot. So friends, recently I gave one interview at this company in Bangalore. Okay. So nowadays what companies are doing is some companies, they ask DSA round first while some take machine coding round first. Okay. It totally depends upon the framework that the company is using or you are getting like you are being interviewed for. Okay. So nowadays they provide you the details of the interview rounds like you know r1 r2 r3 and the menus like and the menu like what's going to be served in that particular rounds okay like it can be dsa system design machine coding etc so in my interview the basically two interviewers came and they said that we are looking for someone who is very strong in dsa concepts and meanwhile i was like let's see ya hota hai nahi, okay so okay i'm not demotivating you guys okay but most of my time it mainly goes into like developing software software development only and not doing competitive coding and in front end also most of the time we are using built-in functions only okay so if you are also like you know little bit afraid of the dsas and all so along with the you know machine coding series that i have started i am also starting one small series that will be the dsa series in which i will share all the dsa questions that i have been asked throughout my journey okay so after this uh, we all know what happens is they provide us the link okay and they ask us to share our screen and webcam so friends before jumping onto the link i would like to let you know that if you want any career guidance or any interview tips you can connect me on this link the link is in the description box go check it out so this was the first question that i was given okay so it's it tells that write a function that takes a string as input and returns the first non repeated character in the string okay so we have to return the first non repeated character if there are non repeated character then return null so this is the input as we can see we have given a b a c d d c okay so as we can see that a is also repeating c is also repeating d is also repeating but b and e these two characters are not repeating okay so as we as it is mentioned in the question that we have to find the first non repeated character so our output will be b okay. so in my case the interviewer asked me uh, like you know before writing before attempting the question tell me the solution that is uh, basically that comes to my mind okay so i told him that what i would do is i would like run two for loops okay and i will also maintain one flag and when okay while running those two loops if i get to know that there is a similar character in this particular sequence then i will simply mark that particular flag as true and i will break my loop okay or else or else if that flag is still you know false then i will simply return that particular character so this was the brute force approach that i had given to the interviewer so after this the interviewer told me okay go ahead and you know write it down so now let's write the brute force approach first then we will look into the optimal solution let's create a function first so we are going to pass this particular string and our function is going to take a string now what we are going to do we are going to run two loops now over here we are going to maintain one flag as well one boolean value that will be false initially now what we are going to do is over here we are going to have one check that will be if i is not equals to j and and what else str at i if it is equal equals to str at j cool so why we are checking this condition because if we are finding any repeating element we are simply going to terminate the loop we are going to make this flag as true and we are going to break or else what we can do is if our flag if its value is false then we can simply return str at i 
let's see if this particular code works or not cool so friends as we can see it is working we have got the response as b we can do one more thing uh, we can like simply tweak this particular input set and have a look cool now we are getting response as a so i hope this particular brute force approach is clear to you all the time complexity is big of n square as we can see okay so if we talk about the time complexity it is big of n square and space complexity is big of one constant okay so as i've told you in the beginning that the interviewer told me uh, that they are looking for someone who has a very good dsa concept so he was basically they were not happy with this solution so they want something more optimal okay so what they you know told me now that you have to provide the solution in big of n time complexity and you can also take big of n space okay so now what you can do is you can pause this video and try to think how you can do that in this time complexity and space complexity so what i did was i simply took one object so i told the interviewer that i am thinking of maintaining this particular you know map uh, object in which i will you know like pushing the frequency of the uh, these particular characters and then i will simply traverse it and i will find out if if the frequency is one uh, corresponding to any element i will simply return that particular character so the interviewer said yeah go ahead and write it so now let's at attempt this particular question so first we are going to run a loop so over here what we are going to check is if frequency the object that we are maintaining over here if frequency uh, like if our object contains the element okay so we are going to increment the frequency by one or else we are going to provide a def default value as one so let's write the code for that as well so friends uh, this is the code to maintain the frequency of all these elements now what one mistake that i did over here is i was uh, doing i was like looping over this particular object i was looping over this particular object and then i was trying to find out if the frequency corresponding to any particular character is one then i was returning it which was wrong okay because uh, this could not be sorted in a sorted way so so yeah so this was the wrong approach uh, that i was taking so because it is mentioned that we have to return the first non repeated character so what we have to do we do not need to re uh, loop over this particular map we have to loop over the string okay and we have to loop over loop over the string and then we have to check that what is the frequency corresponding to this particular element in our object if it is one then simply return that particular uh, element okay so let's code it cool so now let's try to see if this piece of code works or not okay so we are getting null uh, let's see why so friends it is giving us null because over here what we have done is uh, we have done the same uh, like same thing over here and over here so if that element is already present then we are going to increment it or else we are going to have the default value that is one so cool as we can see we have got result as a so this was the first question in which we have to find the first non repeated character okay what you can do is as a homework you can find the first repeated character in the string okay so and the time complexity for this will be big of n so now let's proceed with the second question so friends this is the second question in which uh, we are given one array and that is containing zeros ones and twos and we have to sort it in a linear time using constant space okay so this is the array input basically and this is the output so again what could be the brute force approach so i simply like told the interviewer that i will you know that what we can do is we can simply sort it using quick sort and the time complexity that we are going to get is n log n so but but the interview needed 
linear time that is big of n so this was the brute force approach that we can tell the interviewer uh, now we are going to give a better solution so the better solution that came to my mind was what we can do again before writing the solution the interview asked me like uh, what you are thinking so what i thought was that we can simply count the number uh, like frequency of zero frequency of one and frequency of two so let's suppose the there are two zeros two ones and two twos and after that what we are going to do is we are going to push those many number of zeros into the array those those many number of ones after that and those many numbers of two after that so let's try to attempt this one so what we can do is first create a function so it will be callable something like this over here we are going to pass the input over here we have array cool so uh, now what i'm going to do is first we are going to run a loop and we are going to calculate the frequencies so i left length and i dot length i plus plus and okay so over here what we need is we need to uh, declare some variables like count of zero equals count of one oh sorry so sorry yeah something like this cool so now what we are going to do is we are simply going to check if array of i if array at i is equal equals to one then simply do count so oh, sorry uh, zero then simply do count zero plus plus and similarly we can repeat these steps for other two as well now what we are going to do is now we are going to run the loop once again basically three times so now what we are going to do we are going to modify this particular array and how let's have a look so we are going to run the loop from zero till count one over here we all know the count one will be two so we are going to run the loop till zero basically till two one less than two okay so what we are going to do is we have this array and we are going to do array at i equals zero so we are basically running a loop uh, like um, okay so we, we are basically running a loop two times and we are going to push this zero two times in this particular array now similarly what we are going to do is we are going to run this loop once again and once again and over here now i will point to count zero basically uh, it was two so we have pushed two zeros in this like zero zero now now we are going to run a loop from this particular pointer okay and it will run till count zero plus count one because as we all know what was the frequency of um, one it was also two so we are going to run the loop from two till three basically this second index and this third index and it will get the one and similarly over here what we have to do we have to run a loop from count zero plus count one and it is going to run till n and we are going to push two over here okay and now what we can do is okay so we can simply call it rather than console log it so and we can uh, inside this only we can console log the final array what we are getting so let's run this particular thing count zero is not defined okay okay count is not defined count zero count one count two okay 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 cool let's see if it is working or not oh shit okay over here array dot length my bad let's clear this cool so friends as we can see we have got the desired output that is we have sorted it and the time complexity we can see is that this is taking big of n and this is also taking big of n only so friends this was our second question and 
the interviewer then asked me that we are running like loop over here and we are also like iterating over here also so what he told me that he want to he wants me to like optimize it a little bit more but at that particular moment i could not you know think of any other solution so so he told me to you know read about dutch national flag algorithm so with the help of dutch national flag algorithm you can like you know uh, provide a more optimal solution for this particular problem so at this particular moment i am not going to explain it so what you can do is you can like uh, study or read some blog on dutch national flag algorithm and what you can do is you can also watch the video on dutch national flag algorithm so friends i hope you have learned something new from this particular video and if yes then don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching